If you're a bird lover, you've probably wondered if you can keep the tiniest bird in the world as a pet. Well, you're not the only one. They are truly fascinating and beautiful birds, it's not surprising to find that a lot of people want to keep them as pets. But can you really keep a hummingbird as a pet? Let's take a look and see what we can learn. Hummingbirds are found across North and South America with over 300 species. In the United States, common species include Long-tailed sylph. The name is self-explanatory. Their most distinguishing trait is their lengthy tail. A long tail is considered a sign of power among males. Rufous-breasted hummingbirds. They are best known for their long, curved beaks, which make it easier for them to eat and it also helps them pollinate more effectively than other birds. Anna's hummingbird. They are popular due to their small size, and the male can soar up 130 miles, and then descend at a breakneck speed. They have a unique courtship dance as well. Calliope hummingbird. They are the smallest known bird in the United States, and their feathers are bright magenta. Black-chinned hummingbird. Green, purple, and black coloring distinguish these little birds. They frequently perch on bare trees, as they fly down the western coast of the United States to Mexico. Where can you find hummingbirds? Hummingbirds may be seen in a number of locations in the Americas, which is great news for bird lovers. The southwestern states of California, Arizona, Texas, and New Mexico are among the regions where these little birds can be found. However, different species of these birds, such as Anna and ruby-throated hummingbirds, can also be found in various parts of the world. Because these birds prefer warmth, getting closer to the equator is the best way to find one of these unique and beautiful birds. Is it possible to keep hummingbirds as a pet? In the United States, keeping hummingbirds as pets is not only difficult but also illegal. The Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918 states that, it's unlawful to own or capture any migratory birds, such as hummingbirds. You could face a fine of $15,000 to $200,000 if you break this law. That's why you shouldn't ever consider keeping hummingbirds as a pet, or confining them in any manner. You can't keep these birds, their nests, or their young in captivity unless you have a legal permit to do it. Only a few people keep hummingbirds. These hummingbirds are permitted to procreate, and their offspring are sold. The majority of them are purchased by the government and kept in zoos. The challenges of keeping hummingbirds as a pet. Certain characteristics of this bird make it difficult for us from keeping them as pets. Let's take a closer look at each one. They are incredibly small hummingbirds range in size from 3 to 5 inches in length. The bee hummingbird is the world's smallest bird, measuring only 2.25 inches in length. It's about the size of a cent and weights around the same. Because of their small size, they are delicate and soft to maintain as pets. Holding them too tightly could cause serious injury or even death. They fly extremely fast. Hummingbirds have incredible speed. They will arrive at a location ahead of your car due to their fast wing flapping. They go at a constant speed of 30 to 45 miles per hour. With their stored fats, they can even fly for hours. When you keep pet birds, you tame them while also providing for their flight requirements. Maintaining your bird's health and fitness is important. Because hummingbirds can fly really fast, you won't be able to prevent your bird from coming into contact with a potentially harmful object. Taking care of your small avian buddy during his or her out-of-cage activities might be incredibly difficult for you. For the sake of their protection, these tiny creatures should be left in the wild since it will also take them a long time to adapt to being domesticated. They have an exotic diet. Every day, a hummingbird consumes enough insects and nectar to equal half of its total weight. As a result, they consume 1,000 to 2,000 flowers and hundreds of insects per day. If we keep them as pets, we'll have to feed them with an exotic diet that's difficult to come by. They have high metabolism. Except for insects, hummingbirds have the highest metabolism among homeothermic species while in flight. Their body expends more energy due to their fast forward flight and wing flapping. As a result, they tend to consume a lot of food and need to be fed every 10-15 minutes. This makes taking care of them all day quite challenging. You cannot leave them with food, as you would with other birds, because they may run out. You wouldn't want to come home to a pet who's starving to death. 
they can't walk or hop. Hummingbirds cannot thrive in enclosed spaces, that's why they can only be found in zoos or in their natural habitat. These cute birds are amazing flyers. However, they have short legs and small feet which makes it difficult for them to walk or hop, unlike other birds. They can only perch from side to side using their legs, so they'd feel confined and restricted in an enclosed and small cage. How to attract hummingbirds in your backyard? If you appreciate these beautiful birds, there is another way to interact without keeping them as pets illegally. One way to do this is by attracting them to come to your backyard. Hummingbirds can be difficult to spot as they fly through flowery gardens extremely fast. But as long as you have feeders and nectars in your backyard, you can easily get them top stop for a moment to feed. Here are some tips you can do to attract hummingbirds to your home. Provide feeders and clean them regularly. Once a week, take out and clean your feeder to ensure that no mold or salmonella grows in it. Fresh sugar water is preferred by hummingbirds, and a clean feeder ensures regular feedings. Plant native plants around your hummingbird feeder plants that produce a lot of nectar, such as honeysuckle or other colorful tubular varieties, will naturally attract hummingbirds to your backyard. Prepare a sugar water mixture in the feeder. Sweet solution attracts these birds, and they feast on it. You may do the same thing by making a thin sugar water solution, and placing it in a bird feeder where it will be plainly visible. The birds will circle the feeder to gain weight, allowing you to appreciate their beauty up close. You can also try teaching them a few taming lessons as they feed in your garden, or at the feeders to obtain a more personalized connection with them. One would be making them learn how to perch on your hands. It's going to be a lot of fun. What to do if you come across a sick hummingbird? Hummingbirds can take care of themselves in the wild. However, there may be cases when they may be accidentally wounded or contract a disease. There are a few things you should do if you come across a sick hummingbird. Put a few drops of sugar water solution on the bird's tongue to help him or her stay hydrated. Don't use cotton or cloth because the bird's delicate legs could get caught in them. Keep them warm at all times. You can do this by making a nest for him or her made out of tissue paper. Once the bird is safe and warm, contact a wildlife rescue group to get the bird checked for any injuries and to regulate his or her temperature. Make sure to find one that has received sufficient training in handling such sensitive birds. The wildlife rescue group will then provide the bird with a safe sanctuary until he or she is able to fly again. It's not possible to keep hummingbirds as pets. We understand how lovely hummingbirds are and how much you want to keep one as a pet. But it's not only illegal to keep them as pets, it's also against their nature as free-flying birds. Pets should be able to form a connection with you and recognize you as their caretaker, which hummingbirds aren't capable of. If you prefer birds to dogs and cats as pets, cockatiels or finches are a good choice too. If you're a big fan of hummingbirds, you may use our tips to attract them to your yard so you can admire their beauty without keeping them as pets. Thank you.